There's a cave on the Ragnarok map that's so popular it's almost impossible to claim as a solo player. The Ice Cave. It has a small entrance and a huge interior, making it the perfect base location for a fresh wipe. And in today's video, I decided I wanted to build there. But can I compete with the much bigger tribes to claim such a contested location? Well, of course I can. Okay, we're in. Ah, turret, you need to shoot. I got him. Oh, this is going to be so rough. After flying to the base location 15 minutes into wipe, somehow another tribe had already set up a base inside, which meant I was going to need a starter base to craft up C4 so I could claim the spot for myself. And after setting up a small base on the center, I was in a good position to go on some early game raids. Ooh, that is a fat looking base. Tribe of Guts, okay. We got some Olivia Rodrigo fans over there. All right, I actually think we can make some C4 and raid that, if I'm not mistaken. They're definitely gonna be online because we're like two hours into wipe, but that's all right. All right, can we make a fabricator? We can. Can we make gunpowder? That's our next dilemma. Pretty sure we should be able to. Yeah, we got some spark powder there. Alright, that should be enough for 2C4. Just gonna quickly do some minor renovations so we can fit this fabricator in. Okay, that's actually a perfect placement. Still sticking through the ceiling, but that is the least of our worries, honestly. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's not make C4. Let's, let's make some rockets. Okay, definitely going to be worth, cry I mean, bollering that first PT with the saddle. And then... Okay, we're in. We got a fabricator. Going to need another rocket in there. Yeah, there we go. Entire base has been dropped. 500 metal almost, or 400. Um, okay, we're just going to take all. We'll have a look at it in a second. How stacked are these forges? Oh, they're pretty stacked. Okay, we got so much metal. I'm just going to head out. I'm going to head out with this. Go, 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 go. I've got to say, I do feel for them. Um, what did we even get there? We got another PT. Fed suit. So much metal. Yeah, so much metal. They were just absolutely stacked on it. Okay, yeah, we're looking really good at the moment. I think it's time to head to Extinction and try and hit level 100. Okay, five more levels and we're level 100. I have taken the time as well to get about a thousand electronics. We got a little bit more than that. So the plan is coming along together quite nicely. We'll head back to our base, which is hopefully still intact. Craft up some C4, craft up some heavies, and then yeah, we're playing retakes. We've done it. It's actually so much faster to craft RG saddles to level up than it is to do cooking pots, but all good. Kind of wish I'd figured that out 20 minutes ago. But we've got there in the end, so with level 100 we should be able to get these heavies crafting. I think I actually should have everything together. Uh, we just gotta hope our base is still there. Hey, the base is still there! We take these wins. Okay. Oh, look at that metal. We're actually stacked right now. Okay, how many heavies can we make? Five! I think... Yeah, you know what? Let's let's make five. Five will do us pretty good, I think. We'll make the generator. Uh, we're going to need some cables as well. After crafting a few turrets, I transferred straight over to Ragnarok to try and claim my ice cave. Before we get into that though, big announcement. Vitality Duos is wiping on Ark Survival Evolved this weekend, April 13th. All of the information can be found in the top link in the description and the top comment. Join the Discord, press that interest button, and let's make our first wipe back on ASC a good one. With all that being said, back to the video. Surely they've got to have turrets by now. Looks like somebody's just recently tried to raid it, so... I mean, they succeeded in raiding it, but they've not cleared it out yet. So if we chuck our fob out the front, we should have all the time we need to, to clear the rest of this location out. Can we place stuff here? No. Oh, there's a foundation there, that might be why. It's that foundation there that's screwing me over. 
I wish I'd made like one more C4. Um, might be worth going and quickly doing that. Okay, we're back. Uh, fingers crossed they've not added any more spam. It doesn't look like they have. Yeah, we're in the clear. I think there was like a sneaky foundation over here that might be stopping me. Alright. We're good now, we're good now. Oh, someone's inside, what the hell? Alright, that's not ideal. He's coming out, maybe? Yeah, he's out, he's out. Oh no. Ouch. Absolutely take, took my head off there. Oh, he's got a shotgun. Okay, that's rough. That is rough. They got their whole trio coming over. Um, if I'd come like five minutes earlier, maybe. Anyway, these metal foundations are going to be such a pain for them. Oh, they're still blowing the inside. Okay, interesting strategy. Alright, generator's down. Oh, it's not letting me close the door. Okay, door's closed. Alright, I'm going to grab some turrets. This is a make or break moment right now. <laughs> Alright. We'll just take them all. Grab a bunch of ammo. Should do us. Hopefully they haven't blown my turret thing. No, they haven't. Not yet. No! Turret, you need to shoot. He's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked, he's cooked. Alright, we got some turrets down at the entrance. They're not in the best position. Oh, but they're down. That's all that matters right now. I can, yeah, he's still in there. I need to aim this turret down the hole. I, think I need to move this turret even further back. I don't want anyone to be able to, like, grapple C4. Uh, third person C4, I mean. Alright, I'm pretty sure there's a guy still in there and he's trapped. Oh, no way he set up a turret. Yeah, they've pulled out a masterclass of a, a comeback. Unfortunately, we're not going to let this base location go. I must start spell. I'm going to start spamming the absolute hell out of it. All right, I doubt their heavies have that much ammo in them, but it's going to be really difficult to to tell. All right, so the turrets don't shoot you as soon as you walk in, which means if we tame a soaker, we might be able to run those turrets. Patchy Rhino, that'll do. Alright, so the problem I'm gonna have is they're gonna just keep spawning into the bed with more resources. And no matter how much I drain their turrets, it might not it might not never be enough basically. But I was not raised as a quitter, so One forty-five male rhino. Might as well grab that while we're in the area. I got him. All right, we might actually have to look into going to the other cave instead of this one. Holy moly! Yeah, I think I'm going to move my fob. We're not really making much progress here. 
Um, I didn't I didn't expect them to be that set up on the inside. Bro just locked onto me with a homing missile. No way he had a cat. How did he get cat flak? What the hell? They had their full tribe defending that location and there wasn't much I could do once they had heavies in the cave, so I decided to pack up and head to the other Ragnarok map to see if I could claim that ice cave instead. Are you serious man? I've been fighting for my life in that other cave and this one's empty. <laughs> well, I guess I better start clearing it out. Okay, so we've claimed the base location, but I really need to improve our wall. At the moment, we've only got two very damaged heavies, and they don't have that much ammo at all. We've got 28 bullets to our name. Yellow drop with a ring around it here. It's gonna be some PvP for sure. Ah, uh, does look like somebody's already copped it. Oh, it's huge, it's huge, it's huge, it's huge. Ascendant compound bow, that's insane. After getting a decent shotgun from a drop, I decided to message Xavi to see if he would be down to run the Ragnarok boss with me, just so we could get those easy engrams. I would still be playing solo, but we would be working together to fight the Manticore and the Dragon boss fight. Oh, good, oh, good morning. Good Bro, morning. Just... Hit the fattest fucking ring. Oh, of course you did, mate. You know this spot on Rag? Yeah, I know that spot. Of course I know that spot. Yeah, we got like oh my fucking hell, hella profit. No Guess where way. we live. I'm gonna say Canyon because I was watching your stream. <laughs> so where are you but then? What map? Do I want to ask where it is? Uh, uh, I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, this is my base. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. That's cool. I mean, it's not bad. Bad. Well, uh, um, meh. After Xavi was finished having a go at my base location, we met up at Greenob and he lent me a rhino to attempt the boss fight. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Will my base still be there? That's the big question. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm gonna say know, probably uh, not, but you never know. I, I, I reckon I reckon you'll be fine. Oh, it is. Let's go. Wait, look at that beautiful tribe log right there. <laughs> oh, that that tribe log. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a hard not life. I've been through it. Us. I have been through it. Alright, I really need metal. I'm so poor. Come on. That'll probably do us for now. I really need metal because, yeah, I'm so poor right now. So yeah, I might have a bit of a scout around the map, see if we can find any bases. It's all we're missing for new turrets and stuff, so... Yeah, I'll take my rocket launcher, take some rockets, and fingers crossed we find something. There must be a base in here. Oh yeah, there is. Yeah, okay. Not reading that. <laughs> There's a bit too many... Uh, auto turrets, but if we had a Stego, I don't actually think Stegos unlock until tomorrow anyway, so unfortunately, that's a bit out of our realm of possibility. Oh, I've just seen a base here, maybe? I have. Oh, we got some, looks like we got some forge lights going as well. Okay, that's humongous. Please have metal. <laughs> I need it. Oh, he's online as well. This is awkward. Okay, 
Okay, we got him, we got him. I'm gonna get this bed down. Get out of here, man! I don't wanna... I don't wanna deal with you! Far out. Yeah, we are really running down the durability on this chainsaw, but... It's worth it. This looks like it's gonna have some decent stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna rock it again. It's kinda dawned on me that I'll need to... Rocket these structures anyway. Okay, so easy. Base has been raided. Uh, he didn't have a whole lot, but... His forges were kind of stacked. A lot of raw metal. Not a lot of cooked metal, unfortunately. Take a bit of that. Uh, was this smithy? Yeah, his smithy was here. Uh, 400 metal, okay. That's worth. Might as well take the platform saddles. We might end up on a platform tame later in the series. You never know. Seems to happen often with me. Ooh, veggie cakes. 20 veggie cakes, okay. That's not bad. Uh, we might actually be able to raid some turret bases with that. Okay, that was empty. Um, yeah, we're going to leave this base here. 700 metal, not bad at all. I think there's like a hidden base location here. If I recall my my rat hole life that I used to live. Yeah, nothing in there though. Uh, I want to check Blue Orb Cave and then I want to scout the deserts area. A little bit better because I kind of just brushed over that. Ooh. Uh... Okay, it actually looks like there is a ginormous stone base with Plant Species X up over there. Very odd. Uh, but very raidable. I just have to check all these little rat holes. <laughs> I feel like I've inspired a generation to build in these spots, so... Yeah, okay, so surely that's raided. I think it's, it's like the exact same tribe I just... blew into. That's odd. They must have two bases or something. Okay, I kind of dropped the wall, which I was hoping to avoid. Because uh, I don't have any protection from that plant species X now. Okay, it's empty. Uh. Oh. Well, that was a waste of a rocket. Alright, I've just gotten back to base and my turret started shooting. Not a clue why, though. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, with that metal we got from that raid, I've got another turret here. So we're just crafting ammo at the moment. We got a bunch of gunpowder, but it's just waiting on it to craft in the fabricator. And yeah, I might craft a fridge actually, if I can. Get this running at the back here. Because uh, yeah, we did get some veggie cakes, which is going to be quite handy for future raids. Alright, brilliant. We'll just chuck that there. That should reach. Awesome. Okay, so I think I'm going to craft some C4 this time and head out for... Head out and try and look for a bigger base because I don't really want to be raiding stone bases. I kind of want to be getting in amongst it. So we'll take the Maywing out and we'll see what we can find. I literally just stopped recording and the heavy killed someone. Level 20 with a Paracer. What on earth? 18 C4. Okay, I, I focused on the wrong thing there entirely. <laughs> 20 C4. You're, you're having me on. All right, I need to kill that Maywing. He named his he named his tribe Easy C4 Trap. Like he was gonna get me. Alright, he was definitely coming to raid me, which is a little bit concerning, uh, especially because he had that Paresa in his inventory. But that's quite funny, honestly. I was seconds away from crafting C4, and we've got 20 of it almost. Alright, I'm gonna keep that Paresa in the vault as well. Might be able to use it sometime soon, depending what we go out and find. Okay, what the hell is that? We got a metal base set, decent amount of turrets, but it looks like they're placed way too far forward. I mean, way too far. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. This could be worth investigating. Let's park this here so we can make a getaway if we need to. It looks like there's an outlet under the stairs. Oh no, it's... Oh yeah, that kind of is under the stairs. I feel like if we were to, if we were to shoot a rocket up there, it'd do some damage. Oh, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good at all, that's not good at all. Come on, mate. I'll go, you. Okay, I thought bollers didn't work here, but apparently not. 
Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's bad. No, it's not letting me jump. Whoo, okay. All right, well, we might have to come back to that base another day. He absolutely should have won that. Okay, what the hell is this? Oh, it does have turrets. Can I get up here? Is that too much to ask? Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this looks fat, actually. I need to raid this. Um, okay, we can kind of use their PTs to LOS. I just need to run behind that, that box. Which I think I can do. I mean, my flak is pretty good. Gonna give it a go. Alright, yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh, how far back can I go here? Alright, we're in the clear. Three people in this tribe, Jesus. Let me just take all from all of them first, and then... Unlucky guys. 370 metal, not bad. A uh, bit of gunpowder. Be interesting to see how much ammo they've got in their turrets, but I actually really want to take these eggs. Kind of wish they'd cried their PTs, but... Can't get everything, I guess. <laughs> Um, okay, a decent amount of pearls and polymer, which will be nice for turrets. Okay, can I get two turrets for one C4? I doubt it, but we'll try. Okay, only like 100 bullets anyway. Uh, okay, over 10k metal, not bad. Uh, yeah, this is all worth taking back to base. I'm going to head straight there, if I even still have a base, that is. Okay, I really need to improve this wall, so I think what I'm going to try and do is craft a cliff plat, and then, yeah, maybe place it on the roof there. The more coverage we can get, the better. And I think this turret tower is still a little bit too far forward. I don't like how easy it would be for someone to C-spin in with a Tranodon. So, as you can see, I've torn down my ancient turret tower, and I've replaced it with this chandelier... I don't know, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I'm using a dino leash to figure out the exact range of the heavy turrets. And I think on high settings it lands about here, which is kind of perfect. Um, you don't want the heavies to be able to shoot out here because then people are just going to soak. But you obviously want them covering the cave, so I think that's the perfect distance. Uh, but we're not going to find out till someone tries to raid us. So what I'm doing at the moment is just upgrading the crafting station. I crafted an indie forge and a cam bench, so... We're making some serious upgrades. It's about damn time. After building our new crafting station, I decided to head to Scorched Earth for a flint run. I needed bullets and gunpowder, and taking a mining drill over there was the best way for sure. To be honest, I think we've done enough farming. I'm feeling a raid, so I'm gonna kit up and start scouting. I might actually scout Extinction. That map has been capped all day, so there's gotta be some bases over there. At least you would think. Okay, so I found a base that looks like it's only got autos defending it, but we are gonna need a PT to C-spin the entrance. But I did get those eggs from the previous raid, so I'm thinking of using my brain for once and hatching them, seeing what the the stat is, oh that's not going to connect that far out, never mind, apparently I'm not using my brain. Okay, surely here, yeah, okay, we're powered here. See what the health is like on these eggs. 41 points, it seems like quite a lot. Yeah, these are only 21 and 31, that 41, I think that could be the way. I think that 41 HP Pteranodon will be perfect, and we've got 42 armor saddle as well, so that's, that's kind of decent, I guess. Yeah, that's actually... <laughs> that's amazing. Kind of feels like the game is just playing into my hands right now. I say that, but my base is going to get absolutely rocked the minute I transfer off. Could probably do with placing some more spam as well. Basic kibble, are you having me on? Of all the things you could have chosen to... Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Yeah, I definitely don't have basic kibble. 
Oh, guess you're not getting the imprint. Okay, I think that's the entrance to the base there. Let me see if I can get a an angle on it again. Okay, so that's the base there. Uh, it's got a couple of vaults, but I don't know if you guys can see. There's only... There's two autos at the bottom, and I think there's another two on that level there. And I think that's it. So I think if we can see spin past those turrets, we'll be into the base. Uh, but easier said than done, I guess. Oh, this is going to be so rough. Alright, we've done it. We've done it. Alright, let's hope... They might be online, so we gotta we got to play this carefully. Are there turrets on the level below me? I can't tell. I can't tell. I'm just gonna drop. No, no turrets on this level. None on this level either. Okay, we can drop down one more. Just can't go all the way through. Oh, okay. We're good. We're in the clear. Alright, I want to get these beds straight away. And then I think we can drop down here. Yeah, we're not getting shot here. Oh, okay. I take that back. I take that back. Oh my days. These guys are so stacked. This is the raid we needed. This is the one to put us on the map. Okay, that should take care of the generator, but I just want to go, I'm going to go one higher just in case. We're playing it safe. Okay, I don't, I don't hear. Oh, no way it's still operational. No, those turrets are down. Okay, let's kill. Don't, that is no way, mate. Another 18 C4, what on earth? Okay, I'm just gonna straight away destroy those beds as well. So if I'm not mistaken, the raid should be secured, but anyone could turn up at any moment, so we don't want to spend too much time if we can help it. Oh my god. Oh, I need to get these beds as well. Super curious to know what they've got in those vaults. Killed someone else, it seems. Okay, yeah, so raid should be secured. Bit of farm in the smithy. Ooh, really decent amount of metal and paste. Uh, they had like multiple generators, which is interesting. So I'm guessing these are going to be mostly empty. Yeah, seems to be. That's gonna. Be, I'm gonna have to blow into that. Uh, let's shotgun the loadout mannequin. Oh, decent amount of ammo as well. Uh, can I not access this one? Might have to destroy this. Okay. Uh, just some basic drop stuff, really. Rock golem saddles, okay. I didn't really expect them to have anything crazy in that loadout mannequin. I'm guessing most of their good stuff is going to be in their drop in their vaults. Ah, these are going to be fun to blow. All right, first vault is down. Let's have a look. I'm not seeing anything crazy immediately, although the PT is okay. Okay, we got some stego saddles. Actually, going to take those thylo saddles as well. Uh, we're going to need some for base defense. Alright, that should be enough to drop that vault as well. Oh, okay, we got a Stego! We got some PTs. 91 armor woolly rhino saddle, that's insane as well. Decent rock golem saddle, okay. Yeah, we, we've 100% made some profit on this raid. I think that was definitely worth um, risking the PT and C-spinning it. That Stego is absolutely huge. Okay, I'm just going to probably check over these bags once again, make sure I haven't missed anything. But yeah, overall, really decent raid. I'm super happy with that. So much metal, decent saddles, and that Stego is going to set us up for some 
hopefully some profitable raids tomorrow when Stegos get unbanned. Uh, I don't think you can ride them or anything on day one. You can only tame them, so not a bad find, but a bit useless at the moment. Oh, I almost missed this guy down here. Better check his uh, body as well. Ooh, four more C4, okay. Pretty much made the C4 back. And that, my friends, marks the end of the first episode of the solo series, Surviving in the Snow Cave on Ragnarok. I managed to get quite a lot of content out of this series, so expect an episode in the next day or two. I'm gonna try and keep these daily uploads up as much as possible, for as long as possible. And if you're enjoying the solo Snow Cave survival, make sure to subscribe, like the video, turn notifications on, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you all in the next one.